Hi you guys, my name is Rachel Neagle. I am one of your Diamond Ambassadors and this is the final day of week one of our Fall Harvest Challenge. Um, we have spent all of this week talking about plowing, about breaking up resistance. You've heard from so many amazing ambassadors already. I know that a large theme of this week has been about figuring out or discovering what your why is, and that is, of course, so important. I am actually going to focus today on breaking up resistance um, to the products themselves, um, whether it is your own sort of objection about the products or whether it is maybe a lack of confidence in feeling like you know how to share confidently or what to do when somebody, rather than just saying, oh yeah, sure, I'll try it, what happens when somebody has a ton of questions? That can shut us down because we feel ill-equipped to answer those questions. So I am just going to bring you guys a couple of quick tips that I think will help you succeed as you begin plowing and breaking up the resistance in terms of our products. The very first thing that I want you to understand is that you have to become a product of the product. You can't be sharing about how amazing these products are if you're not even taking them or if you're not taking them regularly. It's really hard to share something that you're passionate about if you're not feeling so passionate about it. And so being a product of the product you know, it's like we tell our customers, if at the end of 30 days you have product left over, something, something's wrong. You're not taking your products right. And so maybe you need to revisit your own um, discipline and consistency in taking the products. Maybe you need to revisit your regimen, see if it needs to be tweaked here or there, but find the best way for you to be consistent about taking the products every single day as they are intended to be used. Remember that the most powerful story that you are ever going to tell about Plexus is your own personal testimony. It's what the products have done for you. Now, obviously, if you're a brand new ambassador and you've jumped in and you're wanting the business as well, but maybe you've only been on the products for a week. Maybe you've only been on them for, you know, a couple of weeks or a month even, and you don't really feel like you have your own testimony yet. That's when it's okay to borrow belief from somebody else. You know, if the reason that you joined was because you were fatigued and you weren't sleeping good at night, you know, find a testimony of somebody else that you can share and you can say the very reasons that she, you know, used these products that she joined and had success is the same reason that I decided to try these products because I need to sleep better or I need more energy or I need, you know, um, an extra boost to get me through my workout. Whatever your reason for trying the products is, find a testimony that you can align your own um, reason for beginning the products and start to share that as you begin to incorporate your own story into your journey. But remember, being a product of the product is probably one of the very most important things that you have to do in order to break up resistance. The second thing is keep it simple. Most people don't want to know the reason how something works. They just want to know that it works. You know, it's kind of like when somebody asks you what time it is. They just want to know what time it is. They don't want to know how the clock works. A lot of times, the vast majority of people that you're going to come across they really just want to know that it works. And that's when those testimonials become very powerful and very key. But let's say they do have some questions about the products themselves. Maybe they want to know about the ingredients. Remember that all of that information is in your back office. And you have these very simple and very easy product cards. It's the Our Plexus product guide that came in your success kit. Keep these things on hand. If you know that you're going to go have coffee with a friend because she's going to ask you some questions about the products, grab this and stick it in your purse. So if she says, well, uh, you know, what is Mega X? You don't feel like you have to, you know, have something prepared in advance. 
sorry. Sorry, my screen went blank there. You don't need to feel like you have to have some speech prepared in advance. You can say, oh my gosh, let me pull out my cards and let's look at it. Let's check the ingredients or let's, you know, share some of the benefits of what Mega X, because maybe, especially if you're new, maybe you haven't tried Mega X yet. So you don't have a testimonial yet about it. Remember, these are a great, great resource and it keeps it simple. My third tip for you guys is third party validation. Third party validation means I'm, I've been telling you how amazing my probiotic, probiotic is. Let me see if I can find an article or a news story or a segment from the Today Show that really validates or backs up what I have been telling you about probiotics or what I have been telling you about inflammation or what I've been telling my audience about, um, you know, the need for, for good, deep, restorative sleep. Um, so that third-party validation. There's a couple of resources that I'm going to give you guys for that. One is, um, is an app that is called um, Nutraceuticals, and you can find that on um, the App Store, but I'll also include a link to it in the comments. It's called Nutra Ingredients, and you can clip on, click on that app, and you can actually search by topic, so you could type in probiotics, or you could type in omegas, and it's going to bring you the latest, most up-to-date information about what is going on in the nutraceutical world in terms of probiotic benefits in terms of omega benefits, in terms of even aloe benefits. So that's a great resource. But if you have the Google app on your phone, one of the things that I've noticed with the latest Google update is that when I click on it, topics that I frequently search are now showing up as news stories right under the search bar. And so um, I can just really quickly get on my Google app and if it says something about probiotics or if it says something about, you know, the reason people need to be on a multivitamin or if it even says the number of Americans that are looking for a secondary source of income, I can grab that article, I can share it to Facebook really quickly, and I can provide some third-party validation for the things that I've already been telling my audience for three and a half years. Um, this is especially valuable if you're just beginning your journey and maybe you don't feel super confident yet that I don't know all this information or I'm not a green personality, I'm not a researcher. This is a really great, simple, and easy way um, for you to be able to do that. Also, pay attention to what your audience is posting. Very frequently, I will first make it a priority to search, you know, my non-Plexus friends, um, Facebook posts because people really will tell you a lot. I had a friend the other day posting about um, that she thinks that she has arthritis in her hands and you know, she's going to be going to the rheumatologist to see if she needs to go on cortisone injections. And so I just sent her a real quick message and said, I know we haven't really talked about Plexus before in terms of, you know, you dealing with pain. I didn't know that you were struggling with this but we actually have a really wonderful pain management line. Can I send you some more information on it? And she, of course, was like, absolutely. I would love some information on it. Um, so pay attention to what your audience is posting. If they've put the need out there that they're struggling with sleep or they're struggling with energy, they're so tired, they've got to have their 10 cups of coffee in the morning and they're going through the sonic drive through to get their Diet Coke in the afternoon, Use that as an opportunity to reach out. They've already told you they have a need. Now you are saying, I can help you with that. And I would say that probably my last tip on this is set your customers up for success from day one. When you have somebody and they order a triplex, um, give them a, a regimen to starting the product so that they don't feel like they are flying blind and check in with them often because often it's just a simple tweak a lot of times people jump in they start taking all of the products all at once I never recommend that people do that because if they have a reaction to something or a negative experience then they don't know what's causing it so I will say hey we're gonna start you on slim 
and we're going to actually only do a half packet of Slim for the first three to five days. I'm going to check in with you on day five and see how you're doing. If you're feeling great, we're going to go ahead and start taking an entire stick. Oh, you're still struggling. I've already prepared you and had the conversation with you about detox. Um, let's hold there for a little bit. And then if they're doing great on Slim, we might introduce ProBio 5 next. Only if they're already having regular bowel movements. If they're not, we're going to get them going on BioCleanse for a couple of days, making sure that we're getting the bowels to move, and then we'll add in ProBio 5. And we're not going to start anybody off on four ProBio 5. We're going to start them off on one. And I probably wouldn't even have a conversation with them about Vital Biome until they have been doing well on Triplex for at least a month. And then maybe I'll start talking to them about Vital Biome. And my final tip for you guys is, and, and I know that y'all probably hearing this um, a lot lately, is I truly, truly believe that there isn't anybody that I know that doesn't need to be on Triplex and Ease. Ease is kind of one of those products that not very many people have tried or people only think it's for pain. And so they're like, well, I don't have any pain. I don't need that. I'm telling you, Ease is an absolutely essential addition to Triplex because it helps and aids the body in the detoxification process. Um, it helps to reduce inflammation. A lot of people may not know that they've got inflammation going in their body. And, you know, statistically, most people do. Um, it is a wonderful product and a companion product for anybody that's trying to lose weight. Because very often, the reason that people are gaining weight to begin with is because of inflammation. So I always recommend Ease to everybody in the very beginning, and if they say, I'm just going to do triplex for a month, then I say, okay, we're going to do triplex for a month, but next month, I want you to add in ease, and I may send them some information, um, again, going back to that third-party validation about why. All right, so we've talked about what we're going to do in terms of the product to break up resistance. Today is the final day to be entered into the drawing for the book bundle. So what I want you guys to do, I want you to get on the website, I want you to look at the ingredients that are in Ease, I want you to pick one or two of those ingredients, and I want you to find an article providing third-party validation and do a post about it. And when you've done that post, put a screenshot in the comments and you'll be entered into that drawing for the book bundle. Um, I'm so excited for you guys. This is day five, I believe, of the challenge. My screen went dark again. I don't know if y'all can see me. Um, this is day five of the challenge, the last day to be entered for that book bundle. Um, and we're excited. Um, we're excited to bring more of this fall harvest to you beginning next week. Bye-bye. Happy Saturday.